Every time you take a commercial flight, there is an environmental cost. Now scientists are trying to grow a solution that could also be big business for Minnesota farmers. In Climate Watch tonight, Aaron Hassanzad explains how a tiny seed could solve a big problem. Um, and this one's still kind of in the middle of flowering. Here at the U of M research fields, the sun shines on a solution in bloom. Yeah, this is an ancient crop. It's called camelina. It's similar to canola, so it produces oil, but unlike canola, it survives a Minnesota winter. The seeds can be refined into cooking oil and further refined into sustainable aviation fuel. There have been flights using camelina fuel, uh, sole camelina fuel. Researcher Matthew Odd is part of the team perfecting the crop for prime time, something to stand up to Minnesota winters that farmers will flock to. Powerful so, little plant. Yeah, and economic too. They're tiny seeds, but they could have a huge impact. The U.S. Department of Energy says sustainable aviation fuel could cut emissions by up to 94%. And airlines want to cut emissions. Globally, flying accounts for nearly 3% of our air emissions. But the industry wants to get to net zero carbon emissions by 2050, with airlines like Delta aiming to use 10% sustainable fuel by 2030. This could be a major industry for... Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, we're kind of the leader on developing it as a winter crop. Farmers across the state are piloting the product right now. Some tell us they use it as a cover crop and love that they can grow a second crop on the same land during the same season. The camelina pods can be harvested over the top of the soybean seedlings. Ott says it also helps prevent runoff of farming fertilizers, improving our water quality. Yeah, there's a bee right there. And the early bloomers provide nourishment for critical pollinators. Yeah, it grows fast. And many are hoping the industry will too. We're early in the process, but um, we're scaling up. In Falcon Heights with photojournalist Joe Mears, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO News. Burning this type of fuel still produces emissions, but experts say it significantly cuts emissions when you consider the entire life cycle of the product.